want to see someone systematically disprove everything you have read about trading stocks and expose how and why you will consistently lose money if you aren't doing it right? Click the link in the description to check it out for yourself. But now for today's video. The question, which is relatively safe stock trading or futures options trading? Answer by Tejas Kode. I will give you some facts and you determine what's more risky because it's not that plain and simple. Facts about futures. You can't place overnight stop losses, GTC orders are not allowed. Hence, overnight risk is high as downside is open-ended. It tracks the underlying with great accuracy and with a minimal premium. Unlike options, there's only one contract per month. So liquidity is less of an issue as compared to options. Settlement is on a mark-to-market -market basis. Margin requirements are higher and based on exchange prescriptions, span plus exposure. For more details, you can check this margin calculator. 1. Facts about options. Buyers of options have a defined downside based on the total premium paid. The amount required to buy options is generally much lesser than futures. It gives you a margin to operate in comparison if your capital size is smaller. You have more variety in choice and options in comparison to futures. You can trade strategies of many types based on your market outlook. You can structure your trade with limited risks and payoffs. You need a little knowledge on how to construct options strategies. The volatility is much higher than in futures and time decay is a major factor. I cannot give you a blanket answer because it all depends on how you manage risk. You can trade with little risk if you're in an arbitrage trade in both instruments. Pair trading involves lesser risk but involves futures etc. There's too much variety to give you a definitive answer. Hope this gives you a perspective. Footnotes 1. Margin Calculator Equity Futures Fires Answer by Promote Kumar Which is relatively safe stock trading or futures and options trading. Yesterday I was talking about trading to some young people. All of us, yours truly included had suffered losses in October month in our trading and we were discussing how to avoid repeating similar performance this month. Yes, it is essential to review what went wrong and then plan to do the right thing. One of the guys said that he will be trading stocks only this month and will avoid options as well as futures trades. To him, apparently this was a safe strategy. Views may differ according to the risk profile of the trader. Today, I came across this question. Let us discuss here one by one. Trading stocks. We are talking about trading, not investing. Trading in stocks permits you only day trades. For a trade over a longer period say one week or one month, we have to take delivery by paying full amount. If we are having a negative bias about a stock, shorting can be done only as a day trade. Trading in stocks drastically restricts our profit making potential on a good trade. I agree that losses will be less as position size can be limited as per our preference which is not possible in F&O trades. I have always stressed the importance of keeping losses to the minimum, but all the time it is essential to remember that we are in the market only for the purpose of making money. By restricting the profit opportunities, we are acting against our own interest. Why the turnover in F&O segment is too high as compared to cash segment? Only because F&O trade provide better opportunities with less restrictions. The main constraint is the position size which cannot be less than one lot which is fixed by the exchange. Many traders fear the risk of losing with a position size of 78 rupees locks. Futures versus options. Let us now compare the risks of futures trades with those of options trades. The best example would be from October 24th slash October 25th 2017 when the banking stocks, public sector mostly, went up because of recapitalization plans announced by the government. On October 24, 2017 near the close of the day, SBI futures were traded at 254 rupees and 70 pesi. I was not positive on SBI, only on Nipavali day it was trading close to 241 rupees and I expected it to go back to those levels. Fortunately, I did not short the futures at 254 rupees and 70 pesi. Next day, all the PSU bank stocks were pumped up and just running away. Here is the price movement over three days of SBI on October 17th futures opened at 285 rupees and 10 pesi next day and went on to a high of 326 rupees and 95 pesi. Surely one would have to exit a short position which would be close to the price of minimum opening price. At a lot size of 3000, the trade could have caused a loss of above 90,000 rupees. Instead I had bought for 250. I had bought it too early in the day before the finance minister's announcement. I paid 4 rupees and 50 pesi I. E. A total of 13,500 rupees. It went worthless next day. But the loss was 13,500 as against the 90,000 or more which would have been caused by the futures trades. Since the question is about relative safety, I would say that in the case of a catastrophic event, 
stocks are relatively safer followed by options, if you are a buyer of options, sometimes, options are safer even compared to stocks directly as the maximum loss is capped. I hope this answers your question. Thanks for reading, images, and SE website. Answer by, Akashiyato, relatively safe trading. Dear friend, my view will be to avoid trade and start investment and believe me it's the safest way to go. In fact a day without loses is a day with profit because you didn't lose something. Note, beware of people promoting own website, group and so-called free tips. No personal interest here. Invest wisely. It's your hard-earned money.